When uh, 20 years ago, uh, a rather motley crew of individuals gathered in Ian Marx's house at Margareting to hear him outline his plan for the establishment of a community foundation and indeed to invite us to become its founding trustees, I have a suspicion that I was not alone in thinking what a perfectly lovely idea it was, but had not a cat in hell's chance of working. <laughs> now, how wrong that was. Uh, thanks to Ian's irresistible drive and enthusiasm, and, and Angela's too, of course, and the effectiveness of the Foundation's first Chief Executive, Laura Warren, it really was not at all a long time before the new organisation reached what I would call critical mass, and of course it's been accelerating faster and faster ever since. As I say, this is largely due to the very high quality of those trustees, volunteers, staff who have worked for the Foundation over the years, but also because its approach, in a very special way, fills a variety of needs particularly well for the beneficiaries, of course, but particularly the countless numbers of small local groups who are doing sterling work but simply do not have the expertise to make applications to large grant-making trusts for their really very modest financial needs. For instance, it might, might be a lunch club which brings companionship for, to the lonely and isolated but threatens to go out of business for the want of a couple of hundred quid for a new cooker. But it also fulfills a special need for the donors as well, who are given the opportunity of knowing exactly what projects their money is being spent on and seeing at first hand the beneficial effect it is having, rather than just dis the money disappearing into the amorphous kit kitty of a, a major charity. So the Community uh, Foundation in its short life has become a real power in the land, but as Johnny has indicated, it could be so much more. Uh, certainly the need is there and we are depending on the continued support and advocacy of all of you to make the next 20 years as successful as the first.